You pet. Wait, let him kill you. Let him kill you. Okay. No, as soon as he stops, you go. Keep the conversation going. Shifted from a long sentence to a short word. You know what I mean? Do I have to say a short word? No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay, now Jenna, I want you to stop him when she gives her signal, which is pop, pop. Let him do the pop, pop, and stop him. Okay? Good. Okay? Wait, wait till he signals. He's going to signal you. He's going to tell you what to do. Let him make the signal. Stop him. Stop him. All right, now, Mom, you repeat. Stop. Wait. Wait, he's waiting. Do one, one. One. Conversation. Same thing. Go ahead. Wait a bit. Wait till he talks to you.
ones were communicative and which of those? How well, did you know? Because you called them, but I couldn't it's see. Tricky. It's, it's tricky. You know? And I think if you worked with a lot of kids, you know there's a moment they're communicating and a moment they're not. Mm -hmm. I think you picked it up as well, didn't you? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so that's. That's something my students say. ask me all the time. Yeah. It's you, intuitive. You know, yeah. you know when, we, when we clicked it, and that because he responded, and he would look at mom mm -hmm. for a second, you know, and he got a, a nice little exchange. So his awareness, from what you're describing, he must have an awareness. If you're saying he's frustrated by not communicating, he has he's not a totally absorbed kid who doesn't care. No. You, you sense like a no, real connection. You'd have to be blind and deaf not to see what he does with his feet. Damn, damn, damn. You know, and uh, he's that's not really so uh, all that intention. Yeah. That's that's great that mm -hmm. he has that. Because if it gets put into a relationship, then he can do something. Mm -hmm. See, but right now it's frustration, and, uh, and mostly it's frustration about, I think, mm -hmm. not being able to communicate. Mm -hmm. you know,